Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new Apple TV Plus original after it picked it up at the festival circuit. It's Cha Cha Real Smooth, and Cooper Wraith is back at it again after his really surprising and fantastic shithouse that came out in 2020. He wrote, directed, and stars in this film as Andrew, who is a young man just coming away from college. It has, like, graduate vibes in some ways because, like, he's coming away from college. He doesn't know what he wants to do. He returns home. And who does he fall for? An older woman. And doesn't quite go full-blown graduate here. But, you know, it still has that kind of vibe, but it has this fresh, energy-filled approach to it, which I really do appreciate Cooper Ray's direction, because I never once felt bored watching this film. It feels intimate. It feels genuine. And I think that's where he leans into, and with his writing, that everybody feels real, and these situations feel real. They don't feel overly staged or overly like, I'm watching a movie. And this situation, from the opening scene, you show, they show him as a young boy falling in love with an older woman at this event. And she's like, I'm just old. And he's like heartbroken. But in his older, like now that he's 22, he's at this bar mitzvah, makes a big deal. And like everybody loves that he's like getting everybody involved at bar mitzvah. And you know what? Maybe he can be like, you know, the kind of guy that comes in, gets hired, and, you know, is the host and kind of hype man at events. Um, he does struggle with some of his own problems because Andrew's an interesting character. He's endearing, we care about him, but he can be an asshole sometimes. He also likes to mask his discomfort and heartbreak with vodka, so that causes some issues as well. But he makes this connection with this mother, who is generally younger, but she is still a mother, and it's Dakota Johnson playing Domino, and honestly, I think this is one of Dakota Johnson's best performances, and the connection that these two characters make, it's challenging, it's, she's very alluring, she just has this presence in this film where it's just like, you can understand why, you know, Andrew has this connection, and, you know, wants to be with this woman and you know her life's complicated she's engaged she has uh her daughter played by vanessa berngart who is lola who is on the autism spectrum and the connection that andrew makes with domino and even more importantly honestly the connection that andrew makes with lola brings so much heart and personality and connection to this film and I think that's where this film really soars, is the connections that these characters make with each other. You care about his growing connection with Lola. You care about, you want him to wind up with Domino, even though it's probably not for the best, because, you know, life's complicated. And this is one of those kinds of stories where this isn't going to pull punches, this isn't going to give you, like, this Hollywood ending, but... It really does take you on a journey, takes Andrew on a journey, and Cooper Wraith is so great in this role, too. The genuine nature of everything about this film makes it feel so real and lived in, but you love these characters. He has this great relationship, ups and downs, with his younger brother David, played by Evan Asante, who I think is a great addition to this cast, and their connection has its highs and lows, and you feel for that, too. And then you have Andrew's mom, played by Leslie Mann, and they have a great connection. And then Andrew doesn't like her boyfriend so much, played by Bar Brad Garrett. But even he has his moments, and it's the kind of thing where it's just like, you can appreciate the great writing here, the energy and how it's directed, the performances, and all comes together to make such a feel-good, but also meaningful and thematically, you know, meaningful and, you know, resonant kind of film. This does remind me a lot of Coda. And it also reminds me of Shithouse as well. But it's the kind of thing where it's just like, you might not know exactly how it's going to turn out either, but you want to be on this journey, you love these characters, and you just feel it all and just love every second of it. At least I did. 
But those are my thoughts on Cha Cha Real Smooth. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.